Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm Healy Goose again and we are back. I know it's been a long time since I've made an actual video, but I thought it would be justifiable that I would make a video probably just now. And right now we're during the elections or the very important midterm council Scottish and Welsh elections which is going on right now and I think it's quite appropriate for me to make some sort of content for you guys to see what it could be happening and for this first video I want to talk about the main English ones because uh, there's a lot of elections going on right now in England and it's very very important to see what's actually going on and we are going to talk about the Scottish ones too but we're going to do that separately because the Scottish elections are slightly different in their own different way. And it's a little bit weird how a few things have gone out today. Because today, or yesterday, was Super Thursday. Where we were able to vote. And basically everyone had their one chance to vote. And go the way they were supposed to go. Okay, I don't know how to explain this any further. But... Yes, so I want to talk about you guys about what is exactly the situation that we're going to be walking ourselves into because there's quite a lot of things going on right now and no one seems to be quite explaining it quite well and I will be here to explain it for you. And this picture right here, as you can see, is the actual map that the UK is right now politically. The SP quite have a stronghold in Scotland quite now. I think we're going to get a lot more blue with that. I'm actually hoping to get less yellow. It doesn't actually look that much, but at least we're going to get a lot more blue prospectively. And as you can see, England is mostly blue. <laughs> and God, most of the prospects up in the north, the labour wall is blue. That's incredible. And I said, this is the fall of labour. And the fall of Labour is completely deserved because Labour has gone completely off track to what it actually intended to be in the first place. It was for the working man and the working woman. Well, not anymore. They've left those things and joined BOM and climate activists and Extinction Rebellion and all, and all those groups. And actually just left the normal working person behind. And the one main thing that the Labour Party has basically failed to do is speak to people because they like to blame the audience or blame themselves for not getting elected in <laughs> and it's really funny seeing these people go after each other like cat and mouse like as you can see here this picture of Lawrence Fox after if you want to pause the screen this is just fucking brilliant but we don't have enough time to talk about that and if you want to see the picture again please be sure to follow me on my socials so you can see that but remember, f subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram too. So anyway, back to the content that you want to see. So what I want to talk about first is the London Mayor elections. Now this is going to be quite easy to say. Sadiq Khan has been running the city for a long time and basically he's run it to the fucking ground. And the, the Mayor of London, I didn't actually notice the Mayor of London's job has only been about for nearly 20 years. And the fact there's only been three mayors, Boris Johnson, another guy that I'll start, and Sadiq Khan. And ever since Boris Johnson left, funny enough, everything has just gone to shit. And Sadiq Khan is just fucking terrible. I mean, murders up, rapes up, crimes up, police are getting defunded. But it's okay, as long as we take down the statues that have slave owners. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is going on? But I have a perfect video for you to see what basically the situation is with Sadiq Khan because it's a mess go and watch this video right now see what I mean crime is up robbery is up knife crime is up rape is up taking most of vehicle offenses is up residential burglary is up knife crime with injury is up knife crime with injury and robbery is up and you think honestly that London is more safe now than when you took over as mayor of London I do that's absolutely extraordinary on the 2nd of June um, you gave an interview to Niall Patterson uh, at Sky News and he asked you uh, to what extent then is it a matter of personal regret to you that London is less safe than when you took the job and you responded oh it's not less safe that's the first thing so I had a look at the Metropolitan Police's statistics and in 2015-16 uh, for example there were 21,361 robberies recorded 
Last year, there were 35,216, which is an increase of 65%. In that light, Mr Mayor, do you think the state in London is not less safe than when you took over? It was an honest thing to say. I do. And you you do? Pick it. That's I'm extraordinary. I'm very happy to have a discussion on what the definition of robbery is, actually. So, another gun. So, yeah. So, Sadiq Khan is a special person. And basically, London's a shithole, okay, people? London is an absolute shithole where crime, rape, and everything else is up. And it's an absolute fucking mess. But it doesn't seem to be going quite favourable. Because if you go and look at this graph I'm going to show you right now, the Khan is the red line right at the top there, and he seems to be quite at the top. And the nearest one, the, the, the blue line, the Conservatives, they haven't really done much to do, benefit themselves in London at all. They've done great in everywhere else on the, the island, but they haven't done really well on that. And I want to also show you this thing from the Election Maps UK, the, what the chances of the Labour winning again is quite high. Like, we got Khan on 40%, he's only lost 4, Bailey on the Conservatives 29, the Lib Dems 8%, Greens 8%, and Fox 3%. He's actually got a chance, Fox is some sort of percent of a chance. But, to be honest, the fact that he would get anywhere near that is going to be absolutely surprising. But, Let's go and talk about the rest of the UK, because we have other elections going on as well. We have the Welsh Assembly deciding what they want. We don't really care, because I'm not the really Welsh. Sorry. And, yeah, they're going to be choosing who they want, if they want Mark Drayford or they want someone else. But I don't really know how Wales does their politics. I know they've got separatist movement down there, but that's it. But in England, this is where the main ones are and where the news is going to be focusing on. For most of the morning until 5 o'clock, we're going to get one of our main results. But we're going to take a look at a few polls as well. But in England, they've got 143 councillors, 35 police commissioners, and 13 mayors, including the London one as well, about what could win. So it's very interesting to see if the Conservatives can win. But I would like to show you something very interesting. We're going to get to one of the main ones right at the end of this video. But we want to show you a few polls that came out, which is a bit concerning from what has been shown. So this is from uh, Britain LX, and this is our independent Westminster voting poll. Or West, well, it's independent, whatever the hell it says itself. This is a poll, by the way. All these are polls, so this could always change from when I say it to the time it actually happens. But then, anyway, it's showing the Conservatives are going to win quite a lot this time. And it's really funny. I know you're going to say it's the Tories. We don't like the Tories, but then it's not Labour. I get the point there, it's not Labour with all the socialist activist stuff that taking down statues, burning flags and so on. But anyway, talk about this poll. So it looks like they're going to win quite a majority with 44% of Conservatives. Labour going to win 33, actually losing 1. Greens, 7%. Lib Dems, 7 And the form is to gain 3. Pretty much the same as Lawrence Fox, to be honest. And there's a lot of things that's been going on and it's a bit well there was also a poll about the working class yes from politics for all and um, part of a yougov poll they looked at the working class who was going to be more likely to be voted for in this election for the working class and it wasn't labor and this is, like I said, Labour's absolute downfall, the fall of Labour in the May 6th election special, and this is exactly what I want to bring up again. Labour has the exact reason that they're not behind the main working class person anymore. The damn Tories are. And it says here, 48% of people would rather vote for the Tories than they would vote Labour. Oh! <laughs> absolute burn and it's an absolute disaster like unbelievable that the fact that the Labour Party is losing so much whip but the thing is this is what happens when you put all these groups together or about the what's going on with the politics the left and they endorse them all and then you got to 
Sakiastama that nobody fucking knows, basically, and nobody wants socialism, which is what basically led to Labour losing in the first place with Jeremy Corbyn because it still affects them. And I would like to show you this little poll here from the stats of the lefties where they're still talking about Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah, they're still talking about Jeremy Corbyn. And <laughs> they're discussing right now on whether if they should let Jeremy Corbyn be part the leader of the party again. Yeah, we're talking about that when you have other pressing issues. It's almost like, oh, I wonder how you lost your election. Hmm, I mean, anti-Brexit stuff. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. But anyway, let's not talk about that. But we want to show you the local election areas for... The Red Wall. And I want to show you what the Red Wall is, because the Red Wall is basically the Labour heartland, where the entirety of the councils are, and they're all Labour, and they're all Red. And this YouGov poll taken on May the 1st is also <laughs> very revealing of what the hell is going on. The fact is, the Conservatives are hit, preparing to hit 90 seats in the Red Wall district to get a low estimate of 96 to get an estimate of 90 plus of seats. Labour to 59 and everyone else after that. It's like what an absolute disaster for Labour. And I want to show you this chart here, which is basically the, it says his projected council control of lead wall councils consisted with the 21 electoral, uh, local election, sorry. And yes, Wow, you can just see Labour fall. This is all supposed to be led, but right now you're looking at one, like six local counts are going blue, pure blue, and everyone else is led, and if they're leaning Labour, they're just drifting off. And it's like, wow, what is going on here, Labour? What is going on? But I'm also saying, Ha ha, because you fucking deserve it. Because this is what happens when you try and tell the electorate that their opinions don't matter. And what one of the things I want to mention to you guys is, is that most of this is due to damn Brexit. And I'm going to talk about this one because this is about Hollipole. And this is the probably one we're going to get the first results on in the election, which is probably out by now the time you've seen this video. Hullapool, the Hullapool area, everyone Hullapoolians. Apparently that's what we're supposed to call them now. Hullapoolians. Um, as we know, the Boris Johnson has actually been down there at Hullapool, actually getting elbows and, and pictures with people to help the support win the election. And I think he has won, basically. He's helped them win the absolute area that they dominated. Because before we show you the actual results, Look at lefties for, uh, sorry, stats for lefties. Johnson favorability in Hollipole. Favorable, 51%. Unfavorable, 28. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, you could not lose even any harder. Because this is Hollipole. Hollipole has been Labour since 1945. You know... Long time. I mean, this is probably just as bad as a lot of these other areas. This is why the news is actually focusing on it, because it's quite significant. The lot of things that's been going on is, is absolutely drastic. When they lo the Labour lost the election, it was the most they've lost since 1935. That, that, that was the lowest they ever got. Now, we're losing an area from the war. Again. And it's like, absolutely incredible and they're still not getting it and and i want to show you this poll here this is the main poll where the new hollipole phone poll basically looked at you know who was going to be most likely to win the hollipole which i think they've already kind of found out when i'm what making this video like La labor party have screwed themselves so much 50 percent of seats of the, the, the polls went to the Tories. They have absolutely fucking lost the the area. They have just done. They are dismissed. They disposal. They're absolutely done. And yes, 
we're going to be seeing a lot of big problems coming out with the Labour Party because they have just screwed up. They just need to damn die. They just need to die. Put their gun against their heat and just finish them off already. But the thing is, you know what? They absolutely deserve it. And if you want to get some actual help, Labour, um, I'll mention this to you. Get rid of your activists. Stop blaming Labour voters for not liking you. People don't want to vote Labour anymore because you're just not worth it. Students even look at you like, okay, maybe you don't want to vote Labour. That's not really cool. And you need to back the supporters. Back your local areas. Don't start preaching to them. Support local communities. Don't support these massive progressive woke folk and like BOM and Antifa, Black Lives Matter and all that stuff that actually do more harm than good. Start helping people and also start accepting you lost the fucking Brexit vote, which is what Hotherpool was quite significant in. Hotherpool was one of the more high rated areas for the polls when it came to the results of the Brexit result and it was nearly 70% of the area of Hotherpool was actually leave. 70% and Labour Party does not like la leaving. They don't like leave and do you think that you're going to trust them in five years time to say yeah we're definitely going to stay out of the European Union although they are definitely going to do that and you know what guys that just says it all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Time for Labour to die. Thank you. Resources in Westminster are playing it down. I've been told it's looking tough in Hartlepool. Labour have flooded the area with activists. But on the ground here, people I've been talking to here, well, a Tory source told me tonight that the team here think they've got it. They think they've won the seat. And as for Labour, one source tells me tonight uh, that they fear the Tories have won. Another says they've clinched it. Uh, one senior Labour source said they're 98% sure that this seat is turning Tory overnight. Well, we'll find out the result between 4 and 7 a.m. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very, very end because that means you're a special person and you support the content that I make on this channel because every person who watches this is an honour to be watching this channel. And for anyone who wants to support this channel any further because we know the Czech Giants on Hollywood Boulevard do not want us to see each other's comments and don't just want to see the truth out there. So... Please be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel and follow us on every other of the major single platforms out there. We are everywhere as much as we can to be and we're going to try and make as much content for you as possible. But if you have any ideas for content out there, please be reasonable and use the word hashtag talk about it and the question below so in the comment section if you have an idea because everyone's ideas are free and optional no radical stuff and please be sure to fund us because we are all our funding projects will go a long way to making you a must trusted reliable source so thank you guys hope to see you in the next one and remember hail the empire